this is uh, pretty special and exciting for me. Um, this is a verified burial mound. This is called Smith Mound. Um, it's said to be half the size that it once was, and uh, that is all due to uh, European destruction. Europeans came in later, and for whatever reason, tore it down, I guess, because they wanted the land to farm or whatever it would be. Um, and this, this kiosk describes some of it. It's called Smith Mound in honor of the, the landowner, Smith, defended it against one of his neighbors with a shotgun uh, to uh, prevent him from destroying it. He was gonna he was gonna level the remaining part of it because his land was adjacent to it and he was gonna use this for for uh, farming. And um, Smith came out and said no it ain't happening and he and he defended that right with a shotgun. So um, this is called Smith Mound in his honor. There's many things that, that we can write off to just European uh, hegemony and um, just, you know, progress, if you will. What they turned back in those days, progress. Um, but this is not one of them. I mean, you can almost see somebody taking a ceremonial mound and using the shells to build roads and that sort of thing but destroying a known gravesite desecrating a known gravesite of anyone's heritage anyone's gravesite uh is is inexcusable and unacceptable um one of the earlier one of the kiosks that we saw previously said that the indians who built this burial mound built this moat around it and it was a ceremonial moat uh, and it's filled with water now as you can see and it goes all the way around and that's pretty cool too so that's still here so the graves the grave sites of the indians there are are still stunk. the human bones found here are very fragmentary and have almost completely disappeared due to acidity in the soil the human bone fragments are so deteriorated, DNA testing is not practical. But that's the only ones they found. I mean, the ones that are deeper in there. And this is an artist's rendering of how they would have been buried on this mound. So they would have curled them up and put a bunch of stuff of their personal things in there with them and then covered them up with earth, I guess. And this shows, I like how it shows it completely void of trees because that's obviously how it would have been this whole island would have been devoid of trees every piece of wood on this island would have been used previously for building etc so that's pretty cool all right we're going to go around and finish the uh, the tour here if the mosquitoes will let us